Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics guys. Today we'll be installing a uh, dash camera. It's a dual dash camera on our family van guys here. That Toyota Sienna that we have. And what I like about that dash camera guys, you have a you have a camera in the back and you have a camera in the front as well. So you can prove if something happens. Uh, I know, I know most people uh, have the camera only in the front, but uh, we, we were almost rearranged a few times and I just want to make sure that we are covered, I can prove what happened. So that's what we got, okay, uh, right here, it's a, it's a mirror with a dual camera. All I like about it, it has the big style mirror, so for a family vehicle guys, it's good, you can see what, what's happening in the back seat as well. Okay, it's not too, too big as well, okay, this is it, this is the front camera. And it's pretty good quality camera. We stay with us. We will we'll take a few videos driving so you can see you can see how it works. This is the reverse camera, uh, and it records all the time. You can turn it off if you want to, but it will be recording all the time. It has the night vision as well. And if you want another thing, you can connect it to your reverse light, and you have a reverse camera as well. When you put the car in reverse gear you will be able to see what's happening behind you in, in, on a big screen. We will not use that feature because we already have a backup camera on this car. We have the display, we have the backup camera, you can see, so all we have to do is just use the dual dash camera. This one, pretty simple design, you have the rubber bands, they're easy to install and we're just going to install it on top of the other mirror, okay, and get it secure there. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it there now. Okay, getting the second strap now. Okay, guys, and you can see this is the mirror now. Pretty big size. Uh, what I like about it is uh, you can see good, and you have the display here. Just stay with us, guys. You see, this is the camera on the front. It doesn't look too too big to you know take your personal space, but. You have quite a bit of visibility, check out towards the back. So we got the cable, okay, running there, you can see. We'll just push it behind, okay, behind the fabric there. Okay, we'll get it under this cover now. All right, so we can hide it a little bit, and it's not so obvious, it's not in the way, because it will, per it will be permanently mounted, okay. And later we'll actually catch a positive and negative cable from the battery of the vehicle so it can run all the time even when we park the vehicle it has a battery a backup uh, battery so it will stay on for a while after you turn the car off but we just want to make sure that it's on all the time it has a G sensor so it can activate only if something happens which is which is pretty good Okay, we're just getting it under the seal now there, and if you have any suggestions about a really good product, guys, just let us know. We're always open to, you know, doing reviews, trying new things on vehicles. We're learning from one another, so you can see how that thing performs and see if you want one for yourself. But being the dual camera, I would definitely, definitely recommend it, being very affordable. Okay, next we'll just feed it under the carpet there. You can uh, lift the carpet a little bit, the edge of it. Okay, and it's gonna go in. That way, guys, we don't have it in the way. All right, guys, next, this is the reverse camera. Okay, it just plugs in. You gotta make sure that you, got, you get the right hole. Okay, and again, we'll use the same location for the wire now. And it's gonna go on the side all the way towards the back. Okay, so we got the cable through there now. We'll push it under the seal. Okay, sorry about that. Just taking video of the head here. Okay, you can see how it's gonna go under the seal. Okay, towards there. Okay, now it's gonna go under the plastic there. Okay, like that, and 
We'll go towards the back under the door seal on the rear. Okay, and we'll feed it all the way towards the back, towards the trunk. Okay, you, you cannot even see that there is a cable that way. Okay, we're almost, almost towards the back, guys. Almost here. Next, we're gonna go to that plastic here, and we will try to feed the wire actually uh, through here, and we will install the camera on the top there. So we gotta take video of the socks here. Funny looking socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, you can see there is quite a bit of room under the fabric there. Okay, there it's a, it's a little bit tight spot, but... Okay, now under this plastic here. Okay, so we remove that trim piece, so we have to do pull it down, it has four clips. We remove the third brake light, okay, right there, only two screws, and we fed a wire. Okay, you can see from there, that way we can connect the camera now. So we'll just tie it with the wire, that way we can pull it. Okay, like that. Okay, you kind of like need to guide it a little bit. Okay, it's going in. Just needs to push on it a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we're almost there. We got caught a little bit. Okay. So let me just move this one up. Okay, like that. Okay, so that's the wire there, guys. Just You have to be careful not to damage it. Do not pull too much on it. If it gets stuck, just wiggle it a little bit. Okay, and then we'll need to connect this one here. It goes only one way. There is arrows. Okay, arrow with arrow. You need to push them in. Okay, like that. Okay, so we install it. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, we'll probably relocate one of the wires later, but we're kind of in a hurry. Now, okay. Right there, you can see the camera on top. And let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Now, we have quite a few settings, guys. I mean, you have numerous settings for that thing, so you have to uh, go through those and uh, just make sure that it's something that you want to, to do for yourself. So you can see that's what we have on the mirror now. Okay, you have the reverse the uh, reverse camera there, front camera here. You can uh, switch to different modes. Okay, let me just, uh, okay, this is settings. Okay, you can go to uh, all kind of stuff you can turn it off if you want to so you have the mirror only you can turn it back on Okay, that way and You can have uh, Okay, when you go to settings you can have the dual recording on and off loop all that stuff So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see how it's going to record now